Okay, you ready, Kita? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm a dog for No, I'm not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See, this would be fun if we left it in. Oh. No, we're going to put it in, Akita. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, I'm going to start now. I think it's going to be funny if we left it in. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this is our fifth week. If this is our introduction, I think it would be very funny. Uh, it's our fifth week, eh? Yeah, yeah our free search is the fifth week. Uh, we've changed it up a little bit, and Kita is with me today. And we're, doing, we're having an interview with Cash and Puppy, and we're kind of... So hopefully, two of us will make it a bit more of a conversation, I guess. Uh, so, you guys can just turn on your cameras. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Yeah. So, this is our last week. Um, just for start, is it, I think everyone would really appreciate it if, if you did want to give us feedback. We are open to it, just as like a disclaimer before we go on. Uh, I think that will be helpful just in case if we do want to continue with this, it we'll know if you guys actually enjoy it. Um, if you guys want more of these, of these videos yeah. or interviews yeah. that you'd like to suggest or that sort of thing. Yeah. So, Keita, do you want to start us off? Alrighty. Um, I don't mind starting us off. So, uh, Cash and Puppy, who wants to go first? I think I should go first. Okay, you have to go first. I'm cool with that. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, um, for anyone who doesn't know, Cash and I work in the auditing department together, actually. So, you know, we see a lot of, well, not really see, but we talk, chat a lot here. Especially we as we've got the marketing process and it's been been a time. I don't know how you found it, Cash. I was overwhelmed. There was just so much to do in so little time. It was like, ah. <laughs> but I guess, like, with what that in mind, would would you recommend doing masters or your AT to anyone? And like, what what do you think people should consider? And is it recommended? Well. I think it varies and it depends on like the type of person you are because I used to like teaching, I used to like the tutoring, I used to like the interaction with students, like generally like when I started tutoring. So for me, AT was like a definite, like it was a no brainer. I knew that I wanted to do that. Masters on the other hand was something I was, wasn't was sure. I just took it because I thought, okay, hey, there's benefits is being paid for, it's an additional degree, it's, it's like, you know, there's like so many benefits to it. I'd be quite silly if I didn't like, you know, take it on. But, you know, it's not like a must. I don't think I would ever tell someone like you have to do it just because of the benefits. I think it just depends on you as a person. If you think you can motivate yourself to to do all the research and keep the tight deadlines and basically sit up all night doing the research, then yes, definitely. But other than that, I feel like being an AT, it's how you are as a person. If you never liked teaching people, if you didn't like being around students too often, if you didn't like marking, like, you know, don't take it on because you're just not going to enjoy it. Mm, so, yeah, yeah, I agree. That's crazy because I'm also like, I, I'm almost the other way around. It's because I always, like, I decided I'm going to do my master's because, like, I wanted to, you know, build my skill set and I thought it would be a cool thing to do. And I was always like, oh, well, I suppose I should do my AT as well, then fine. But then um, I just, the, the teaching grew on me so much and being with the students and everything, especially because tutoring last year, I mean, I just absolutely loved it. So we have almost like an opposite thing going on. But yeah, I mean, I love the teaching now, so I agree with you. Okay. Yeah. And then, Poppy, mm -hmm. are, you, are, you, are, you ready, are you ready for, for this question? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. It's a very serious one, so I need you to get your serious hat on, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I need you to tell me what your dream job was when you were a kid. My dreams when I was a kid? Yeah. To work with Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be a best. Funny enough, 
um, funny enough, it didn't even include uh, this CA stream. Um, and I feel like almost um, all CAs do want to do something in medicine or they did want to do something in medicine. And I was one of those people. I actually wanted to be um, a car How do we pronounce it? Um, you know, uh, the, the surgeon for the throat and the heart. Oh, the yeah. cardiothoracic surgeon. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh my God, I wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that was so interesting to me. Uh, medicine, crazy. Yeah, that was so interesting. And I thought uh, I could do it until um, I dealt with physical sciences in high school. And I was like, no, I can't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go into commerce. So yeah, yeah, yeah. See, mine was more on a, I'm, I'm perpetually scared of needles. Oh. So I was like, no, I could never do that. And then it just gets worse as, as they do, the needles become bigger. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think... I was never a fan of needles either. I think I would want to put a needle in someone, but no, I don't come near me with the thing. <laughs> no, I can't even do that. Like my mom, she works, uh, she runs a baby clinic, so she does a bit of immunization. And fun fact, Puppy and I's moms are both nurses. Yeah. So it was quite a cool thing to learn when we were sitting in the office together. Um, but yeah, she does that. And I've been in her office since I was about five, sitting watching her give babies injections, and I still can't. I look away, I go into the other room, I hide her, like, and my girlfriend just says, oh no, it's because she mentally scarred you, that's why. And I was like, oh, definitely. Like, it's not even a joke, it's definitely there. <laughs> um, but you see how it worked. It. You see, Cash and Keita are in auditing together. Puppy and I are in tax together. It's like it's almost as if who has a better discussion ability. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I think yeah, yeah. This is actually a serious question, Keita. Um. You were saying in the meetings the other day, Papi, that you just struggled a bit with like working around with the family at home um, and you did change your mind, I think, twice. Uh, do you want to yeah. just give some people insight about it? Um, I think I told you this, but like I had adjusted to being a morning person because while I was yeah. still a student, I was literally, I used, how do you call it? Yeah, I used to work at night. But since I started working, um, yeah, I reverted back to being a morning person. Um, but after the lockdown, I was like, okay, I can't work during the day because um, I'm literally in the same space 247. You can't go anywhere. And sometimes um, it's frustrating. Um, and back then, uh, kids, I think schools were still closed. The noise was horrible. I couldn't focus. So I took a choice of rather sleep or take a nap during the day, like maybe uh, two to four, then later in the evening really work hard and push the work. Um, and then I realized that that's not really good for my health. You know, I read something about uh, getting enough light and stuff like that and not waking through the night, which is not healthy for you. Then, yeah, I just found a way to work during the day. I had to make it work. With your cute nephew climbing in all your drawers, hey, puppy. Yeah, just bra. I'm still the same. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's frustrating. I don't want to lie. <laughs> this is for the first time ever. I miss that, say. Eh? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people do. I do. Like, yeah, I do as That's well. why I love. I think a lot of these these team meetings, it's just like afterwards, you're like, yes, I saw someone's face. Right. Yeah. Um, you can get a bit of a rush I... after a meeting. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Wow, and it's... other people's voices, it's so interesting. <laughs> and then you're like, let me check my emails and send emails to people. <laughs> um, and then Cash, I have a similar, it's the same question, like, did you also, phone, like, how did you adjust from going before vids to after vids with a, 
I'm sure everyone can hear the rack rock is in my house right now, but yeah. You know, how did you deal with it? So mine is a bit different because when the lockdown started, I swear for the first month, I was like probably the most optimal I have ever been this year because I didn't have to travel. Like I didn't have to wake up early. I was like sleeping eight to nine hours of a night like I mean that was something that I never used to get I was walking exercising eating properly for a change like everything was like going super well but then I got to like a month later and I just got tired of being in the same space and then yeah. everyone just started to annoy me because I used to wake up early till today I still wake up like you know normal time and go do my work eight o'clock you start four o'clock you knock off type of thing and like everyone will just be there <laughs> they'll just be in your face and be like Oh, do you want to eat something? Do you want to make me some coffee? Could I do this for you? Can you please clean this up? And I'm just like, but I'm okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and my brother and I both sit at the dining table and we both walk and he was doing schooling online. And like, you know, you just, you get so distracted with him being there because he's like on yeah. a Teams meeting with all of your class and talking. And I'm just like, okay, I can't concentrate with you, you and talking. Can you go away? <laughs> so it was... Difficult. Like afterwards, it definitely got yeah. difficult. Now maybe it's a bit better, but I still wish I could go back. I don't actually mind the traveling. Like I will take that today. Now it's okay. <laughs> yeah. It was funny the other day I was showing someone. So I was writing out. I was doing the assignment, Kita, and mm. it was funny because it's. I always write down the stuff I know that's like obvious. I can just put it down. I don't have to think for it. But then there's like the you know the the linking paragraphs. So someone came into my room trying to talk to me and I was and then I was like can you give me five minutes and then they walk out they came back and what I'd done is I was doing the linking then I did the copy and paste and I did the linking as I came in and I was like look yeah look at my work do you see where I need the thinking that's where you come in <laughs> <laughs> but it always it just seems as if whenever whenever people distract you it's when you have to think but yeah. when you like He's seen someone distract me, no one comes. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think just for final words, is there anything you guys want to say to the students? Um, yeah, I, I, I think the crux of this is to just accept um, the situation that we're in. Eh? Because I feel like during the first weeks, I was in denial. I was like, no, we're going to go back next week. We're going to go back next week. But then I realized that, OK, two months have passed and I've been saying we're going to go back next week. So I was like, OK, just accept and move on. I think yeah, that's just the crux of it. Yeah, yeah but don't no, give up I, on yeah, yeah, that's true. I agree no, with that. I feel like it's Oh, sorry, Bobby. <laughs> no, you can go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I agree with you. Like, you know, if you keep pushing for something to change, it, it's just going to make you more anxious, more depressed, more sad. Like, you'd rather just take it as it is, except that you're going to be at home and just keep working. Yeah, that's true. Anything you would like to say, Kita? Yeah, I just, I just, I really enjoy these, these videos with you guys and just like chatting and it's so cool to hear people like how they actually living and that sort of thing. So I think these lockdown videos have been really awesome to just like learn a little bit more about my coworkers because, you know, sometimes it's not like that when you just sort of go in to bits and then, you know, you do what you need to do and then you go home. And yeah, so I guess everyone has, I hope everyone has enjoyed these and, um, yeah, just like what we've been saying is just, you know, you've got to try your best and accept your circumstances and be happy, yeah. you know? Yeah, just find like happiness anywhere you can in the end, really. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. thank you guys for being part of the last, I guess we could say it's a fun interview almost. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait, but before we end, Sebastian, I actually have a question for you. <laughs> oh, no, no, okay. it's, no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to. What, what, did you, what did you think of this? Like, like, how did you come up with the idea to do this? It's such a cool Something idea. Okay. Like, what, what made yeah. you do it? Okay, this, I think this is funny, but like, it's actually kind of random. Um, but I think I'm going to start with the boring part, really. So I've watched. 
I don't know if you guys watch Yes Theory. It's a Facebook page, and I'm normally a very shy, reserved. I was always that socially awkward friend that you kind of had to invite. I always got that feeling. Um, I sucked at speeches. I had a speech impediment. I wasn't really the best at speaking in front of people. And what these people, what they say is you just need to seek discomfort. You need to find a way to put yourself where you normally would never find yourself. And for me, speaking in front of people is one of my biggest insecurities, I would say. And watching those people, I just thought, I'm going to need to learn how to manage a situation as well as just speak to people. So I thought, maybe I can just do something like this. I can kind of interview people, talk to people, whatever, whatever, and it was just in the back of my mind. And then what really pushed me through was everyone, like I just felt everyone was just feeling very sad, like everyone, like the one week was feeling sad. Mm -hmm. And I tried to plant a spectrum plant and for two weeks it just sat in the pot. I followed what the internet said, it sat in the pot and it did nothing. And I was a bit sad and I was like, oh, it's not working. And then the one day I looked at it and it just looked so good and it started growing. And everyone was just feeling so bad. And I was like, you know what? I need to tell someone. But if I just send you a WhatsApp message, you're like, oh, guess what? My spec boom started growing. You got, it's just been like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I thought maybe it would be best if I started a program or a thing of interviews where everyone could just kind of just talk about something that isn't stress. So been wanting to tell people about my spectrum thing for a while now. I think it's six weeks now. <laughs> so basically, I just wanted something to like kind of just share insight and like get that feeling afterwards. Like, oh, this was actually really nice. So yeah, that was the original motivation. That's so sweet. Initiative. <laughs> yeah. And I urge everyone to do something like this. It's kind of just push yourself. Uh, attack your insecurities instead of just hiding away from them. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, thanks, Cash, for side <laughs> getting that from behind. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> No, that's also the other thing about uh, you know living with a family is you know like as you working and doing your thing, everyone else is like playing their music and you know <laughs> I think it's actually really nice to like live in in a home environment because it's like you know it is more more life you know it's sort of like if you're just sitting in your own on your own in an office the whole day, it can get sort of like depressing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think. It, yeah, I think everyone just, I think we're going to finish off the interview now just because of time constraints. It was really nice speaking to everyone. Yeah. Thanks for having us. <laughs> oh, that's <was> true. <strange>. Yeah. <laughs>